Yes, sir. It's Groovy Lenny here. And, uh, I just want to tell you to love yourself. A lot of you wankers out here acting foul and some more bullshit. Love yourself, mate. <laughs> but for real. As I'm sitting here in traffic, it's like, yo, we back. I just want you to up the stakes with yourself, though. Like, try to push yourself a little bit further each day. If it's a matter of you're dealing with something like depression or whatever, where it's like, obviously, you can only do so much. But for those times when you do feel like you have control, like, try to push yourself towards, quote-unquote, healthy activities. If it's a sunnier day, try to step out and go for a walk and soak up some of those sun rays for a little bit. Listen to your favorite song. Do your best to get out of bed. It's just different out here, bruh. There's no other way around it. Like, there's more of a passion. There's more of a presence that I'm feeling within these, this, like, last month. get into a little little accident, a little car accident, whatever the case is, anything in life, some type of near, it could be near death, it could be you just get rattled up, shaken, it could cause you to have a different kind of love for life after, but beyond that, it's like you get put into a situation where it's like you have a different type of clarity, it's as if you understand, not like you, you're more... You, that you know more than anybody you're, you're better than anybody it's more of you understand that there's no time for wasting there's no time for fear especially if that fear is somebody else's doing like oh man like if I get to work late my boss is gonna kill me no your boss is not gonna kill you he or she might be upset. Oh man, like this is the third time you're late this week type of joint, but making it having it make you go to the point where you're like stressing, like, oh my gosh, you're sweating. You just took a shower, just put your fresh clothes on, nice and dressed up for your your, your, your work, your day at work, sorry. And then you get put into a situation where it's like, what are you expecting to do? And as I'm in this whole Toronto traffic, Toronto driving, it's like people just, unfortunately, it seems like they don't think, which can cause for a situation of the whole, like, my time is more important than yours type of thing. Everybody's trying to get where they're trying to get to, and people still want to try to cut you off or come switch lanes in front of you with no signal and not even indicating to you that you're going to be able to, like, it's just, it's not worth it. It's genuinely not worth it the headache, the stress, but you can't let, in my opinion, I'm trying, as I'm dealing with it, like, in real time, I'm just trying not to let it get to me, because it's like, it's as if they don't care about your well-being, but beyond not caring about your well-being, it's like, people are, they're like, pushing themselves to like a, a limit, where it's like, doing outlandish things. Because anyhow you switch lanes and don't signal and just come over in front of somebody and just hold no prisoners, it's like, yo, you're on a different type of time. And I, me personally, I'm not trying to deal with it. But for real, man. If you can, challenge yourself to do a little bit more. If anything, I'd say that that's the theme of this episode. Despite my little my little tangent about Toronto drivers, I'm just saying, bro, like, just do your best. Because, like, no, no matter where you are within your day, within your journey, 
it's only you who's going to be able to get in a situation or get out of a situation, have a situation, propel you forward, etc. You are the only one who's capable of doing that. So no matter what the situation is, it's on you. I hope you have more of a love for life and like you actually cherish cherish what's going on. Because I understand you can be facing things and nothing's wrong with that. No one's going to judge you for facing things, but it's up to you to push a little bit further to be a little bit better. It's totally up to you. It's all love.